Action. <laughs> Hello, I'm, I'm Professor Lisa Griffith, and I'm going to give you a, a basic demonstration of how to do a contour egg and its cast shadows. We're going to use two materials today. We're going to use the vine charcoal, and we're going to use the kneaded eraser. Um, when you use the vine charcoal, do, try not to hold it like a pencil. First of all, it's so light. It breaks easily. It'll break on you. And I want you to get a different kind of um, brain-hand connection and get to know your materials in a slightly different way than the way you were trained to, to write your name. Um, so hold the, pen, the vine any way you like, um, any way that feels comfortable. I usually hold it like this. All right, today we're using the large newsprint, 24 by 36 um, inches, the big sheet that you have in your kit. And then we're going to look, first we're going to look at the egg um, and the egg study. Uh, the egg is here. It's glued to, it's taped basically to a piece of paper so that I get a good simple um, surface with good cast shadows. Uh, I've talked about this in the, in the paperwork on Moodle. Play, get a good light source, play with your light. How is the shadows happening? And move your egg around until you find a good shadow maybe one or two good shadows and the way the light hits the egg okay then once we've got that set up we're going to first start by just doing some fast contour studies of the egg so really just feel out the egg i'm going to push hard so that you can see my vine when you're doing it at home you don't have to push as hard you can have a very light line but for you to see it i have to push hard so i'm just going to do a basic contour study of the egg usually has a pointier nose part and a rounder butt part and then the, the cat the needed eraser comes in great here because we can take it and we can remove i'm draw again i'm drawing upright for you to see easier but um if you don't have a good wall to draw on the floor a table always just remember charcoal is messy um, i'm going to move my egg a little bit so i can see it from a slightly different angle and I want you to just do quite a few fast, these are called fast gestures uh, or fast contours until you get a good feel for the egg. Once you have like three or four of them and then you start to really get a feel for that egg and the shape of it, then you can start looking at your favorite one and saying, okay, I like that one, I like the cast shadows on that one. And then we start looking at where the cast shadows are coming out from the egg under uh, in its nose, and does it disappear back behind its back? So something like this, maybe. And it's going to echo the shape of the egg because of the cast shadows. And then we do have a very nice dark shadow right here. Okay, it's very, quite dark there. So once you have a good feel for that and you're ready, if you still are having trouble with this, you can email me this page at um, lgriffithberkshirecc.edu and I will get back to you. If you're not having any trouble, just move on to the next step, which is going from your fast gestures to one large contour study. Make sure your egg has a good light source and you like the way it's shaped where it's sitting and the good light and then just start trying to do the whole egg large the larger you get it the better off you are you won't have to worry about too much about background space now i have to step back to see if i like because this is big oh that's not bad i have some issues here i'm going to clean these up And then, so once I have a good basic study that I like, now I'm going to look at my cast shadows. My cast shadow comes out over my nose, so it's actually coming from down here, and it kind of juts out, and it reshapes the nose, and it comes off, and actually goes off the paper, and that's okay. And then back here, it kind of comes nice and round, and goes off the paper. It meets down here, but we don't have to worry about that, because it's, it's off the paper. And now from here, somewhere near where the tape meets the paper, there's a nice dark, dark, dark shadow that comes right off here. There's a light shadow that kind of disappears there that we can draw towards the end of our shading study. So it's a simple contour study. 
And that's all you need to do for the first step. In my next video, we will learn to shade this contour study. Thank you.